from the Computer Museum in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube covering ACG Silicon Valley Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACG Silicon Valley. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at the ACGSV 14th Annual Grow Awards. It's their big annual event. About 300 people here at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, and we're excited to have one of the board members join us. She's Anita Gonti, SVP and Global Head of Product Engineering Services for Wipro, and a board member. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. So how long have you been involved in this organization? No, not very long. It's just a little over a year. All right. Yeah. And what attracted you to it? Um, I actually got introduced by a friend. Um, uh, she connected me to the board of ACG and I could see what the organization was doing in terms of you know, bringing more growth, more energy here in the Silicon Valley, not that we don't have enough already, <laughs> but I'm very passionate about it and so I was really glad to be introduced and, and you know, bought into the fold, so to speak. All right, good, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set you up, I did a little research before we have you on. Famous Jeffrey Hammerbacker quote, you probably know what I'm gonna say, but the best minds of my generation are thinking about how to make people click on ads, and it sucks. But you're all about using tech for good. That's what you're passionate about, not just using it to get people to click ads, but really doing some meaningful work around meaningful things. What are some of your favorite projects you're working on? Yeah, and, and, and I'll just clarify, right? It's not that clicking on ads is a bad thing. I mean, people do need to buy, we need to get commerce going and all that. But with all the technology that we have access to, it seems uh, such a shame that we are not paying attention to real world problems, larger world problems. Um, and you know, I think global warming is something uh, that's real. Uh, I'm, I'm in the camp that believes that it's very real. And uh, there's a lot of harm um, that uh, some aspects of technology have cost our planet. And it's important to really look at sort of, you know, not just the first world problems those of us here in the Silicon Valley see every day, but really open our eyes to what's happening in other parts of the globe. Um, the need for water, uh, clean water, uh, water filtration, clean air, um, you know, combating some of the changes that have been created as a con consequence of global warming, um, having access to information, uh, education. So these are some things that are, you know, really personally dear to me. Right, right. So we've done some stuff with the Western Digital, and I know SAP is part of this work with the uh, United Nations for some of their really big global goals that they're addressing, and a lot of them you talked about. Simple things, water, access to information, you know, better food production. There's so much inefficiency in, in ag that we see that people are applying technology to. So there is a real opportunity, and we are seeing, I think, you know, some movements into that area. And absolutely, and it doesn't always have to be done by the corporate arm that's focused on social issues, right? We can do that as engineers who are working um, in just in our day-to-day -day lives, right? We could be um, looking for ways in which we apply things like IOT, you know, Internet of Things, right. um, to sort of providing services as a service to enable smart cities, I really look for avenues in which we, we look at technologies that are available to us every day, and then um, just like people invest in social causes without really looking at it as philanthropy, um, look for for-profit avenues, uh, av avenues to uh, enable technology, but then kind of keeping uh, the impact to our planet in mind. Now you guys deal with a ton of customers, right? You're out on the leading edge, you're helping people implement technology. So are you seeing people add that in as kind of a, you, know, I, you think of like a public works project or a building project, there's always some carve out for art or you know other things to keep the cities beautiful. Is there similar type of thing you're seeing for social good in some of these projects where there's some carve out, some allocation to make sure that that, that base is being covered? say is you don't have to think of it as a carve out. You can make that as a part of your mission in what you do. So there's here in the Silicon Valley we're creating so much technology um, and all that technology has multiple applications. You know it's like both sides of the coin. Right, right. And if we're making uh, technology available uh, for artificial intelligence, machine learning, we're creating technology um, to do things like blockchain, authentication, distributed ledger. It's just about opening our minds a little bit and then taking those products, taking that technology to other markets. Uh, th there are, in, in many ways, the technology haves and the technology have-nots. Absolutely. And a lot of it is not just about making the product, 
but then taking the product you've made and then implementing it in various use cases that really make a change come about in the world. And right. so that's something that I'm very passionate about. All right, Anita. Well, thank you uh, for taking a few minutes to stop by and, and uh, give us the update and really excited for doing tech for good because we hear so much about the bad these days. <laughs> so thanks for your time. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. She's Anita Gonti. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from the ACGSV Awards, uh, Mountain View, California. Thanks for watching.